What's up, everybody? My name is Parasite, and welcome back to Over the Top with Manchester City. Today, we've got Liverpool. Of course, it's Liverpool in the Champions League quarterfinal. Who else were we going to get but Liverpool? The best team in the league. Just, I, I hate it. I hate it so much. Why do we have to get freaking Liverpool? I hate playing Liverpool in Football Manager, but we have to play Liverpool. We've got two games today in the first and second leg. In terms of how things have been going, it's just not good. I don't like this team. I just, I'm sorry if you're enjoying this series, but I despise this team. They are just, they make no sense. They like decide whether or not they want to play on a game by game basis. Because one game, they'll be amazing. So they started off okay against Aston Villa 1 3 2. They had a sending off in the 28th minute, though, and we could only win by one goal. That is not good. Especially we had a bunch of shots in this game 28 shots, 12 on target, and could score three goals. That is just trashed here. We then played well against West Ham, a 4-1 win. We decided we wanted to start playing well. Sterling scored a few goals. Mara scored a goal. Lukaku scored a goal. The front three that you expect to be competent were finally competent. They didn't score until the 79th minute, so basically it was over at that point. Then I had to play some backups because the starters were tired, and Norwich were in 19th place in like the worst form in the league. So I was like, okay, I could play a few backups. Turns out our backups are League 2 level. They were horrific. There is one player above a 6.7, and that's Kevin freaking De Bruyne, who never has a bad game, seemingly. But the rest of the team averaged like a 6.3. I'm pretty sure the average was... 6.3 might be a little high, because there was like, what, three 6.1s, three 6.2s, four 6.2s, including Ederson, who I guarantee at this point, without a doubt in my mind, he is the worst player I have ever used in Football Manager. The absolute worst. I have used players in the Vanarama National League that are better than Ederson. It just doesn't make any sense. His, his, his attributes are a lie because he plays like hot garbage. But of course, they had four, shot, four goals this game. They had, what, seven shots on target? Yeah, seven shots on target. He made three saves. We didn't get a single shot on target, so we were just absolutely awful. Grealish is just horrid. Torres has not been good this season. Foden is a terrible player. Camavinga put up a terrible game. Mendez with an awful game. He's been so bad for such a long time now. Diaz came in and was the worst player on the pitch. Stones was terrible. It was just a horrible game. So I put the starters back in for the Gladback game. So I wanted to see a little bit of form, and we barely beat Gladback. We had a 4-0 lead from the first leg, so I didn't need to show this game. I figured it'd be a walk in the park. It wasn't home, but we just we couldn't score. We got a penalty in the 55th minute. That is all we could do, and I had the starters in for this game. So I guess just one game where the backups play like absolute garbage just ruins this team. But then apparently they were good again because they played Chelsea and beat them 4-0. This team makes no sense. Foden playing a 7.1. Lukaku playing a 7.6. Gundogan 7.1. I don't understand it. Ederson playing a 7.3. It's freaking miraculous. But I think they had like a couple shots on target. Four. So he made four saves. That's the might be joint most for the entire season. He's made in a single game. That might be his best game all season, where he saved four shots. I've had other keepers save like 12 to 13 shots against me, even more than that. And Edison is lucky to save four. We then played Arsenal, and we sucked again. We scored a goal in the third minute, Bruno, or Bernardo Silva, and then just did nothing the rest of the game. Ederson, again, terrible. Guess how many shots they had on target? They had two goals, so of course they had two shots on target. Didn't make a single save. The worst player I have ever used. Never buy Ederson. If you want to play as Man City, immediately sell Ederson and get a competent goalkeeper. He is the worst. Maybe he's just terrible for me. I don't know. Maybe he's been better for you and other saves you've had, but he's not played well all season. Like he's had, He has one good game every three or four months. But other than that, he's just absolutely horrific. I don't understand. Like, if I had another competent keeper at this club, I would definitely play him, but I don't have another competent keeper at this club, so. Backups haven't done any better. What is his save percentage at right now? Because it's probably pretty low, because it was 70% the last we looked. It is 67%. That is one of the worst I've ever seen for a team that I've played with. Like, usually my goalkeepers have, like, high 70s, low 80s. He has 67%. He's faced 87 shots. He's only saved 58. 29 goals conceded. 
at 87 shots. That is awful. That is beyond awful. I've never hated a player more than I hate Ederson in this save. I just don't like this Man City team. They're just so inconsistent, so flaky, so weak mentally, it feels like. Even though they have good mental stats, they're so weak mentally. But saying that, it's time to play Liverpool. This is going to be fun. Starting off away from home. I mean, every time I'm expecting us to absolutely crap our pants and just get absolutely walked, we play well. So maybe we're going to play well this game. I don't know. But saying that, since I said that, they're going to be awful. Mars is going to have to play on a little bit less fitness because Foden is just a trash player. So Mars has actually been pretty good recently, even though he's only on 6.78 because he's been pretty horrific the last three games. Pretty much 6.3, 6.3, and 6.1 in his last three games. Maybe I don't need to be starting Riyad Mahrez. I mean, Foden hasn't been any better, but it's been a little bit better. 6.6. .6. He hasn't got a 6.1. Do I just start Foden? Screw it. Mahrez, you're terrible. Can I talk to him about being terrible? Interaction, speak about one player, criticize recent form. You have to start playing to a higher standard if you want to be in the first team. You can't play three absolute garbage tier games in a row and expect to play. I don't know what to do. This team is just full of terrible players that look like they're so good, but they play so, 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 so bad. I don't know. I don't know what to expect this game. It could be anything. We could lose 7 0. We could win 7 0. It's, it's a crapshoot with this team. I told the team that I expect a good result from this first leg, so go out there and grab a win. I'm expecting to see solid defensive work. I'm expecting you to take control of the midfield, and I'm expecting to see quality finishing. Bernardo Silva misses out due to injury. Oh, yeah, Bernardo Silva's injured, which is just perfect. He's been the second best player this season. How much of damage will he be in this huge match? You can't replace a player like Bernardo, and it's unthinkable to go into a match of this importance without him. How are you approaching the task of reaching the Champions League's best defense? Uh, we're not going to. They're a very hard team to beat. We might have to accept that they're the better team. Yeah. We're not going to... I mean, they've been in bad form recently. Three losses in their last five. But I don't expect much here. We've been on... Look at that form. Just as inconsistent as you could possibly be. Lukaku is amazing one game. Can get a hat trick in one game. And then can go five, six straight games without a goal. It's just this team makes no sense. They just make no freaking sense. We're going to start with the first attack, it looks like here. Maybe, well, no. We're going to pass it straight to Andy Robertson. So, so much for that. Now, matchup for building up from the back. They've got Virgil van Dijk. They've got Mane. They've got Salah. I don't know if they have Firmino up top. I didn't look at the lineup, really. But Nice save by Ederson there. I mean, it's a pretty easy save at his near post when their only shot possible is at the near post. Like, I could probably make that save. But, I mean, it's Ederson, so you got to give him a lot of credit for that. That's like one of the best saves he's made all year. It's always Latara Martinez. Of course, he's up top. So yeah, that's, that's going to be great. So far, the game's been okay. No, that neither team's really taking advantage of their situation so far. Baron Torres has to start because Sterling's injured, of course. So just these players who last time I saw them played 6.1s are having to play. 6.1s against the second worst team in the league, by the way. Have to play the best team in the league. And Ferran Torres, of course, is going to not score because it's Ferran Torres. I thought he was going to score, actually. I thought he was going to score just to shut me up, but nope. He, had to re he remembered who he was, and he could not find the back of the net. Lukaku has, like, one goal from a corner this season. It's been pretty much terrible. Like, I expected him to be so much better in the air. He's so bad. He doesn't score headed goals, like, at all. He scored, like, maybe three this season. I never see him pop up with a headed goal. So I don't know what the problem with him is. Like, I expected him to be so much better. I expected him to be consistent because he's got consistency. But he's just not. None of this, none of this team is. Only, well, Kevin De Bruyne is pretty consistent. But we've been the dominant team so far. We have four shots on target to there too. But we're not creating very good chances because we don't have a whole lot of XG from those shots. We're at least getting our shots on target. That's better than we usually do. So I'll give him a little bit of credit there. Oh, a nice pass from De Bruyne to Walker. A little one-two. And he's going to get it by Keita. Put it in for Gundogan, but it gets cleared out by Andy Robertson. Alba ends up getting on it. Don't give it away. Please don't give it away to Salah. Camavinga. Back to Alba in a lot of space. Oh, he's got a lot of space to get this cross in. 
He's going to take his time, put it to Farron Torres, in the Okai Gundagon. That wasn't even going close. That was going about five yards wide, but it gets blocked. I don't know how he could have missed that, far, that hard from that close to the target, but that was awful. And now they're going to score off the back of it. Oh, a save by Ederson. He is having the game of his life. Literally the best game I've ever seen. He's made two saves. And they're not like hit directly at him saves. Saves he actually had to move to block a shot. He's made three saves. So, yeah, that's the best game of his career. And nothing at, nothing at, the, uh, nothing at the end of the first half. It's going to be nil-nil. Pretty even game, really. XG's pretty similar. They have a little bit of possession. We have more shots, but I'm going to say I'm not happy because we're not, we didn't show anything that game. We showed that we we're terrible at finishing. I know that already. Ederson showed a little bit more than I've seen from him this year. He's actually on a 7.0 rating, so that's a miracle. But, of course, Allison's on a better rating because the keepers you go against are always superhuman. Tyre Martin has you know, a lot of space, but... We're going to catch up to him. He's going to be at a tight angle, and Laporte does not give away the penalty. I had to hold my... What are you doing, Farron? What are you doing, Farron? What are you doing, Farron? Congratulations, Jack Grealish. You're playing. Absolutely incompetent. Get the ball out of your freaking feet. Like, he was just... It looked like he didn't care. He just took it so nonchalantly. And Salah just takes it off his foot and puts it in the back of the net. So you get subbed in the 56th minute because you're a terrible player. Foden on a 6.2. I hate Phil Foden. I love him in real life. I think he's an amazing player in real life. In this game, he is the worst. He is so bad. I don't understand. Like He has to be better for the next FM, right? Like, they have to actually make him a good footballer. Because he is just not that at all. He's got decent attributes. He just does not play well. And Salah's going to be through and going to score a second goal. Because, yeah, Ederson's not going to make that save. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's always in the back of the net. Ederson never makes one-on-one -on -one saves. I don't think I've seen him make a one-on-one -on -one save all season long. Walker, just not even doing anything. What is that? Alaba, good lord. I want to sub off this entire team. I hate this team. I cannot wait for the save to be over. I cannot wait to never play with Manchester City players ever again. I'm never signing a Manchester City player. I'm never playing as Manchester City again. I know I said I might come back to this save, come back to Man City sometime in the future to try to actually win them a Champions League, but I am despising that. Unless they just completely change all of Man City's players and make them actually competent footballers, I will never touch this team. It is so bad. It is one of the worst teams I've ever used. I have used League 2 teams that I think have more quality than this Manchester City team. Foden is coming off the pitch. He's been awful. Mars is tired, but he's going to come in. He's not playing well either, but I don't have any choices. They've dominated this half. I'm going to berate the team because they're absolute trash cans. I've never been so furious with the team. I've never been so furious with a single team in my entire life than this team who just randomly shows up but most of the time, plays like absolute garbage. Not a single player above a 6.7. Our 6.8, Walker. 6.9, Ederson. But probably doesn't deserve it. He's gave up two goals in the last two shots on his goal. But most of the team in a 6.5, 6.6 or below. Lukaku, I don't understand. He's coming off my pitch. He is so inconsistent. It's unbelievable. I have used inconsistent players, like with massive inconsistency problems that are twice as consistent as, as Lukaku is. I'm going to throw a water bottle say, I expect to see you in training tomorrow. You don't deserve a rest after that performance. And I thrash my arm say, I'm furious. I'm furious. And I, why can't I tell the attackers I'm furious? Why can't I tell the attackers I'm furious? That's not fair. If, dude, I told Lukaku I wouldn't find him. If I could, I, mean, I still kind of want to, but you can't be happy following a result in performance like that. It was one of the, uh, we didn't get going. It's a poor performance, and hopefully we don't see many more of them. We will. Such a disappointing result. It really means back to the training ground. I'm promised to squad a day off, but they're definitely not going to happen now. Every player that's not Lukaku is going to get as big a fine as I can give him. Ederson I can't find because he had a 6.9, apparently, because he made like three or four saves. Tied for his league most. Who can I find? I'm sure I can find Alaba. Yep. 
Two weeks. Game of England. Sure, I can find him too. No. Can't find Kevin De Bruyne. I can never find him because he's just too good. Gundogan had like a 6.6, so I probably can't find him. Foden is definitely getting a two-week fine. How can I not find Phil Foden? He played a 6.2. F him. Why can I not find a player that played a 6.2? That is bullcrap. I can't find... F Fernand Torres played a 6.3 and gave away a goal. He directly was at fault for one of our goals. I can find Lukaku, but I did give him a promise that I would agree not to find him, so... I don't want him to throw a hissy fit, so I'm not going to find Lukaku. Slam the team because they're just the worst. I just... This might be the final episode of this series. Because once we lose in the Champions League, there's nothing else to play for. This whole series is about winning the Champions League. And it's not going to happen now because we're not going to come back against Liverpool. So, I don't care about the league. We're not going to win it anyways. Liverpool are going to win it. So... This might be the last episode of Over the Top with Manchester City. Unless something miraculous happens between now and the 12th. We got a good break, so that's good at least. But unless something miraculous happens, this is going to be the last episode of the series. I'll see you for when we play Liverpool. And fingers crossed they decide they want to play that game. Welcome back for what might be the last game of the series. Pro probably is the last game of the series. I don't have any other options, so I'm going with the same team that crapped their pants last time. Like I said, I don't have any other options. John Stones is on a 6.54, but what am I supposed to do? Ruben Diaz, last time he was on the pitch, played a 6.1. Laporte is awful. Alba's at, was playing well, but not anymore. De Bruyne is the only thing we've got. Gundogan's terrible. Mars has been terrible. Sterling is like on one leg, but he's going to play because he's actually played well recently, so... He's had pretty bad three games in a row. 6.2, 6.5, 6.7. But Ferran Torres is just a terrible footballer. Jack Grealish, he has not had a single good game all season. He has made 15 starts, 5 sub-appearances, and his highest ever rating is a 6.8. His average rating is a 6.5. His highest is a 6.8. You get that from the start. It means he did no positive thing over the course of 20 matches. He did nothing positive. Over 20 matches, he did not do a single good thing. His last however many games this is, 20 games, he doesn't have above a 6.6. He has a 6.8. There's his best game ever, where he came on in the 69th minute. So the best game he ever had, he only played 20 minutes of football. It's hard to mess that up from 20 minutes, so I understand why he got a good rating, but Imagine what his second lowest rating is. At the most, it's a 6.6. And on that, he came in and only played 25 minutes. So, if he's playing a full game, 6.5. He hasn't played many full games because he's always been awful in all of them. So, yeah, he's only played one full game all season. All the last 20 games, at least. Because he's not been good in any other game. He's been, I've forced to take him off in every single other game I play. Never by Jack Grealish. He is terrible in this game. Hopefully, again... Like Foden, he'll be better in the next iteration of Football Manager, but never buy him in this Football Manager. He is awful. He is just plain awful. Like most of this team. So, here, are you ready for the last chance? Because this is the last chance this team has. If they don't win this game, I'm not even going to complete the season. I'm going to end the series, and I'm never going to touch Manchester City again for the rest of my life. Let's just get into it. See if they perform a miracle. I'm thrash my arm, say we owe Liverpool after what happened in our last match. Go out there and get revenge. I'm expecting to see solid defensive work. I'm expecting you to take control of the midfield. And I want you to do something, Lukaku. Show up, please. How do you feel ahead of the second match against Liverpool in quick succession? Uh, they're a tough proposition, and that won't change. suddenly change. We're up against it. I'll go with whatever style gets the job done. I'm going to play attacking because we need goals, but... I'm not expecting anything from this match. I'm not expecting anything from this match. We need three goals to go through. We've not scored three goals against a competent side in a while. I mean, other than that Chelsea match, we scored four. But Chelsea are just pretty bad in this game. So I don't think they're as bad as Man City are. I think if I was playing as Chelsea, I would be doing a lot better than I'm doing with Manchester City. Some of their players are actually good. Lissick never plays well for me, but 
And yep, that's game over. That is tie over. That is series over. Mohamed Salah scoring the easiest goal of his career. A tap in from three yards out. No defending at all. Defending optional, I guess. Tatara Martinez. Tamane. Back to, to her, whatever his name is. Who is that? Henderson. Plays an easy through ball to Salah who can't miss. Going to berate the team after, what, 19 minutes. You're getting berated. I hope you enjoy that. Yeah, this is going to be the last game of the of the series. I'm very disappointed. I really hoped I could actually win the Champions League in this series. I wanted, you know, I've been doing well in every single other series I've played. That's kind of why I know this team is absolute garbage. Because I've been playing similar tactics with a bunch of other saves so far this year. And they've all gone well. Except with this Manchester City team. So either they just aren't quit out, fit, aren't you know fit to play this tactic, which is what they play in real life. So I think they should be fit to play it, or they're just all garbage in this game. I think they're just all garbage in this game. Mares shows up randomly, but other than that, he's either really good or really bad. Sterling usually bad, has a good game like once or twice every four months. Lukaku shows up once every two three months. De Bruyne usually is consistently good. He's not. He struggled the last couple of matches, but can I throw a water bottle? Yeah, that was absolutely terrible. Your performance has been extremely poor. They actually got a good result from that. Usually they're all pissed off, but they actually, I think they realize they're awful players that should never touch a football pitch, should never be paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to play football. They are stealing a living because they're they should be playing in the championship probably. And yet they're, they're getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to play for the best team in the world. One of the best teams in the world, that is. Obviously they have oil money, but you, gotta, you have to agree that Manchester City are one of the better well-run clubs in the world right now. In real life. But in this game, they're just so bad. I can't state it enough that this team is just so, so bad. Good God. Ederson, a P-roller. An absolute... He roller and he can't get there. The worst player I've ever used in my history of playing football manager. I've never had anyone half as bad as he is. It's uh, went uh, directly underneath him. He is the worst. I hate Ederson. You know what? Screw it. This tie is over. Who's going in net? Bring it in, Tommy Doyle. I trust you. Tommy Doyle is going in net. He can't be worse. Congratulations, Tommy. You're a goalkeeper now. And he hasn't conceded in 20 minutes. It's a miracle. He's already better than Ederson. And series is over. We need four goals in 10 minutes. Series is over. Sterling, get off of my pitch. Mares, get off of my pitch. Here's being Gabriel. Now, Gabriel Barbosa has been awful, too. Somehow Walker's on a good rating. Not seen him do anything. Somehow Camavinga's on a good rating. Haven't seen him touch the ball. Of course they have three shots. Or no, we have three shots on target. They have five. And we're out. The series is over. We have failed. I'm far from pleased with what I just saw from that team over two legs. Ederson. Your performance was abysmal. Somehow he gets a 6.8. But no, you're abysmal. What are your thoughts about the aggregate defeat? I thought we were awful and easily second best. Vince clear felt you should... I can't take off every player that plays like garbage. Because everyone plays like garbage. I make decisions. It's that simple. Literally, when I have 10 players on a 6.5 or below, I can't take off every single one of them, obviously. So what am I supposed to do? You're going to complain that somebody didn't get taken off. I don't have 10 subs. That's it. That is how this season ends. Three straight losses. Two 2 0 losses in a row. Where the offense, the front three, just completely absent. The back line, just completely absent. The midfield, barely touching the ball. De Bruyne must not, never got a chance to touch the ball because he didn't do anything. I've never been so upset at a single team in my entire life. That is how the series ends. On a 2-0 loss to Liverpool in the Champions League quarterfinal. We have failed. I have failed my bid to win the Champions League with Manchester City. I cannot take this team over the top. Because in this game, they are garbage.
Thank you all for joining me. If you somehow enjoyed that, you're a sadist. If you've made it this far, why don't you like the video, subscribe, and click the bell. The links to all my socials are also in the description. I really appreciate all your support. I'll see you all for a new series where I will not be using Manchester City. It'll be coming soon. Thank you all for joining me. If you've made it this far, or I already said that. So thank you all for joining me. I'll see you next time.